Yo, respect, love and light to all of you out there. Thank you to all of my subscribers. If you've missed any of my other videos, which are somewhat eclectic, there might be beats, there might be songs I've written and put out there for you to hear, and there might be a uh, different subject matter that I'm just talking on and, um, you know, talking up some story on. So uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk a little bit more about the spells in the English language, talk a little bit more about how we need to uh, be a little bit more careful with how we're using double meaning words. Now what I mean about that um, is sometimes you might get a word that is spelled differently but it sounds exactly like another word and that other word carries an extreme opposite meaning. Um, so some new subscribers coming in as we speak, uh, give thanks. So, so that's what I'm talking about when I say words with double meanings because see, life is based on belief systems with human beings. Um, the way human beings, the way human beings operate is uh is all based on on their belief system so what they believe in is typically what rules uh how their life turns out and your beliefs are basically built up of a collaboration of things that you've heard and things that you've seen on a on a constant amount repeated to you um one of the value, uh, one of the most uh, frequent word words used is frequency. Um, frequency is one of those double meaning words that I'm talking about, as a matter of fact, because it's one of those words that that has a deeper meaning that I don't think people are really understanding. Um, you know, when oftentimes when you hear frequency, you're thinking of sound, vibration type of thing excuse me so which is important to take note of because another way that that word is used is to refer to how often something has occurred how frequently something has occurred and I think that the those meanings actually aren't very opposite and they actually really tie into one another which is where I'm recognizing how some of these words seem like like there's deeper meaning that we don't understand that could benefit us as well as deeper meanings that we don't understand and probably should use less of. Um, another thing I found out was the letter E, which I say in one of my posts here on YouTube, the letter E is representative of energy or electric field, right? And that is the most common letter used in the English language. Has the highest frequency. A couple of the different words that I wanted to talk about, how we use them, and how they make us feel is two entirely different things. How something sounds to somebody is a lot more important oftentimes than how it looks. Um, you could say the reason why I say that is because you could say something in a certain kind of way to somebody and you can affect their emotional their emotional state at that very moment based on the connotation and tonality that you use in how you how you say what you're saying so um, what I'm talking about is how things really actually feel and what our belief system backs up when we hear a lot of these words that carry double meaning one of the words i'm talking about would be the word sentence sentence for instance um that's a word that we use to build up a phrase or something that that like that that usually has punctuality on the end of punk uh punctu punctuation on the end of it and Another way that we don't really look at how that word is used is it's a word that used to uh, describe your punishment when you get convicted 
in the court system. You get served a sentence. You see? Terms. You also serve a term. Right? Terms are is a word is a word used to describe something that we are saying to somebody, a term or terminology. Okay. Um, the word cursive, okay, is a word that we use to describe how to write the English language down. Cursive. All right, well, cursive is also something that we could obviously directly connect to the process of casting a spell or a curse. The word is clearly the root word, curse. Book. We read books, but we also get booked when we go down to the police station and they get start the process of turning us into one of their numbers. So really I'm going back to how does how does how does the word that we're using actually make us feel? How does the word actually make others feel? And that's all based on the belief system. And sometimes if you need to learn how to develop maybe a new belief system so that you can, uh, so that words will affect you less, okay, so that you'll be less affected by what you hear, right? Because a lot of people, you know, they'll, they'll go out in the world to do something and then they'll let what people tell them about who they are and what they're capable of doing limit them from doing what they are capable of doing. So what you hear, um, I feel, somehow is a lot more effective than what you see. But I do know that it's twice as powerful when you combine the two. Um, so when you hear something and see something, it gets this double validation in your mind. And it gives you further reason to believe in it. All right. Um, so... We can control the programming. We can control what we're hearing. We can control what we're seeing as well. Um, and that's basically what I wanted to talk a little bit more about in the video. Um, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to shout out to all of my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to push the button down there. If you got anything you want to link up with me on, collaborate with me on, uh, let's do that too. I do the music, you know what I mean, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to open some minds and uh, hopefully help people develop a different vision on, on on how to approach this thing we call life and love. All right, create a beautiful day. It's your man Juan Lennon, over and out.